As we all know, Elon Musk's desire to acquire Twitter is no longer news. The CEO of Tesla and SpaceX agreed to buy Twitter earlier this year, but has subsequently raised reservations about the agreement, claiming that Twitter has not adequately reported the amount of bot or spam accounts on the platform. On Thursday, Elon Musk delivered a speech to Twitter employees ahead of his $44 billion purchase of the firm. Let's get into full details on what Elon Musk told his Twitter employees. Elon Musk outlined a vision for a 1 billion user network to Twitter employees on Thursday, but he was vague about potential layoffs, free speech restrictions, and what's next in his tumultuous buyout effort. The Tesla CEO gave no updates on his $44 billion deal, which he has cast into doubt in recent weeks while receiving questions in his first meeting with skeptical staffers. According to reports, Musk stated that he is unsure of his company's title. He wants to be involved in the product in particular and expects the team to consider his suggestions for new features. He also stated that he is heavily involved at Tesla and that he will similarly run Twitter. The bulk of responses on Twitter's Slack chat board, according to a source, were hostile. As layoffs swept the IT world, several Twitter employees inquired about Musk's possible takeover regarding layoffs, remote work, a lesson focused on content control, and diversity and inclusion efforts were confirmed. Questions were routed through Twitter's chief marketing officer, Leslie Berland. Musk's reaction was similarly evasive. Right now, costs exceed revenue. That's not a great situation, he said, regarding potential layoffs. Musk also warned employees about job cuts at Tesla, where he plans to reduce headcount by 10%. About a quarter of Twitter's workforce currently works from home. Musk, on the other hand, issued Tesla staff an email earlier this month with the subject line, to be super clear, in which he stated that all employees must work at least 40 hours per week. He also wrote, moreover, the office must be where your actual colleagues are located, not some remote pseudo office. Although it is much better if you are on location physically, Musk told Twitter employees that exceptional employees might be allowed to work remotely. This is because maintaining a social networking site is an entirely different business from constructing automobiles or rockets, which Musk feels is impossible to do remotely. Subscribe if you're a fan of Elon Musk. I want to see who his supporters are. In his message to Tesla staff, he wrote, the more senior you are, the more prominent your presence must be. He asserted that if he had not spent time in the factory, those on the line could see him working alongside them. Tesla would have gone bankrupt. Musk told Twitter employees that people should be free to say whatever they want when it comes to legal but possibly harmful speech. According to the source, Musk stated that this is distinct from Twitter supporting the speech. He went on to say that users have the freedom to block anything they don't want to see. The objective, according to Musk, is much more than not offending people. It's also about entertaining and informing them. In response to a question about diversity and inclusion, Musk stated that the most inclusive thing to do would be to get all people on Twitter. He stated that he is a firm believer in rigid meritocracy. According to three people familiar with the discussions, employees were particularly irritated by Musk's focus on exceptional personnel, and some of the comments joked about Musk giving these employees special treatment. Friendly reminder that you can show up 10 minutes late to a meeting that was announced to the world and still is exceptional, one employee jokingly noted on Slack. Referring to Musk's tardiness to the all-hands meeting on Thursday, Musk was praised in a few remarks. Others, according to one person, were adopting the least generous way possible. To take Musk's word, albeit Musk fans were in the minority, according to the sources, who requested not to be identified because they were discussing internal business. Musk intends to turn Twitter into a private corporation after the acquisition is completed, claiming that the platform can be more productive without needing to placate activist shareholders. However, the transaction is still on hold, with Musk claiming that it will be on hold until Twitter can verify that its assertions about the number of bots on the network are true, and Twitter hands over its firehose of data. So it won't be easy for him to break out of the contract. I have even crazier news about Elon Musk. Click the video on screen to watch.